Yorkie separation anxiety is the tendency of the dogs of this breed to feel extremely stressed when their owners leave them. It is a tendency more likely to be seen in this breed. Then Yorkie might show destructive and disruptive behavior. If this happens, the owners should be worried about their pet's mental health and general well-being. Before we move on with this video, you need to grab the free dog training secrets guide in which I have disclosed the deepest dog training secrets that professional dog trainers don't want you to know about. These training secrets would help you have a well-behaved, super intelligent, smart and obedient dog without spending hours in training him, her. Link to the free, secret training technique, guide is in the description below. What is Yorkie separation anxiety and how to notice it? Probably all of us have our loved ones. And once they leave, we feel our heart breaking. Now imagine the thinking of a dog. He doesn't have a sense of time, he doesn't imagine things or predict them, he lives in the present. And he experiences each feeling as strong as it is in the moment. So when his loved ones leave, he can't console himself that this shall pass or the loved ones will come back soon. The only thing he knows is that the one he loves is leaving. Moreover, the behavior of the dog is influenced by his nature. Dogs are made to live in packs and there is an attachment to the members of his pack. The owner is perceived as both the leader of the pack and a member so he is extremely important to the dog. I guess we can call it a family bond. No wonder it is something unnatural for the dog to be left alone. A sense of being together is in his nature. If you show affection to your dog before you leave the house or right after you come back, then his anxiety might increase. As I told you, my dog usually starts barking a lot. And this is the most common sign that your dog is experiencing a separation anxiety. In itself it is nothing to worry about much. However, it can be a start of more serious or annoying problems like growing aggression or excessive barking. Other signs of separation anxiety might be trying to escape, chewing, howling, digging, defecating, urinating, excessive drooling, pacing, excessive licking, whining. It can seem as signs of bad manners but if you see the dog feeling stressed and it comes when you are leaving the house, it means the dog experiences separation anxiety. This condition might appear at any age but usually it starts at young age and persists if no actions are taken. Some dogs start feeling anxious after some time when the owners leave and others, more sensitive, expresses it already after half an hour. Sometimes when the dog anticipates that the owner is leaving, he starts showing such signs as pacing, whining or general nervousness. Even when the owner comes back, the dog might show some out of the ordinary behavior, such as excitement urination, a rapid release of pent-up energy and emotions, become clingy and even show some signs of depression. How to help your dog. However, no matter how much we love our dogs, we can't stay with them all the time. Most of us need to go to work, to the gym, to go out, visit friends and have more life than we have at home. And that is when the dogs must be left alone. Despite of that, all the problems have solutions. So does this one. The actions you can take to decrease your dog's anxiety are training and setting a proper environment. Environment. First of all, don't leave your dog bored. Give him toys to play with and enough space for that. The best way is to experiment with different places and see what your dog likes the best. What might seem not important but in fact is important about the environment is to leave the light on for your dog not to feel isolated even more. You can leave the radio on the TV on, too, because of the same reason. Equipment. Next to the toys, there are other things good to leave for the dog. Water and food, it goes without saying. A canine bed, pee pads, after you train the dog how to use them, company toy. It is important to leave him occupied. Behavior. Another good tip how to calm your dog down, besides preparing the environment, is to change your routine. Just show your dog that all your actions which you usually make while leaving the house, are made not necessarily when you leave your house. So keep changing the steps you take when you go out and make them when you stay at home. It must be done constantly that your dog wouldn't be stressed by your daily routine when you leave the house. Do you want to have a well-behaved, obedient and calm pet dog without spending hours in training him? Check out the first link in the description and download the Secret Training Technique Guide absolutely free. It is available for free only for a limited period of time. 
Thanks for watching the video. Comment below if you liked the video. Please subscribe to the Little Paws Training channel if you are serious about training and grooming your dog. Also, join our Facebook group where you get all the solutions to your daily doggy problems.